All right, guys, we're back staring at my engine bay. And in this video, we are going to talk about brake upgrades. So I know a lot of you guys are coming up to that point where it's time to replace your brakes. And you know what the motto is, don't just replace, upgrade. So this is something where, you know, a lot of you are looking for the right parts that you should put on your car so that you can get a little bit better performance for the life of your brakes for the next, you know, 50,000 plus miles. So I'm going to walk you through the upgrades that I recommend and kind of how I look at it so that you can pick the right parts. And then also we'll talk about the different brake options that were available on our BMWs so that you know which parts should fit your car. Also, shameless plug, I am now going to be selling brake upgrade parts myself. So I'm going to be selling brackets that you can run on your brakes in order to run the same size rotors from an M3 and M4. And so in this video, we'll focus on the F series BMWs like one, two, three, and four series. So if you have a 140, 240, 340, or 440i, this will fit on your car. But also even if you have, you know, a 335, a 228, you know, basically any BMW on those same platforms, this will fit as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely send me an email kern417yt at gmail.com and I can walk you through pricing and all the different options we have so that we can make sure you get the right setup for your needs. Now keep in mind I am working with an international supplier so sometimes there might be a little bit of lead time before I can ship parts out but I'll make sure to let you guys know what the current lead time is so that you can get things on the schedule you need. And I will be posting a DIY as well so that'll be posted next week. Definitely check that out or if you're watching this in the future just check down below and there will be a link in the description to how it installs. So yeah, thanks to everybody that's supported so far and let's go ahead and hop into the video. So the main thing that most people look at replacing and upgrading are the brake pads and the rotors. And you know, fortunate for us with B58 BMWs, we all have four piston front Brembo calipers. So those work really well. They have really good clamping force and reliability, but you might just wanna make sure you have the right rotors and pads to get the most out of that setup. Now, if you want the best bang for your buck, the first thing that you want to upgrade are your brake pads. The brake pad material is what does majority of the work for actually helping the car stop quickly. So moving to a more aggressive pad material will make sure that the car can stop faster and will also give you better reliability for back-to-back -back braking. So there are a lot of different options that you can go with and they can get extremely aggressive. Just make sure you're picking the right one for your specific goals and how you use your car. If you get racing pads, they can run really high friction materials that will eat through rotors. They'll squeal really bad when they're not up to temperature and they'll make a whole lot of dust. But they do also make street performance pads that will be just a little bit better than stock without having to sacrifice so many other things. So check out companies like Hawk, StopTech, or Ferodo, and they all make different options that work for our cars and have good performance. Now, the other upgrade that a lot of people don't think about are for your rotors, and these don't necessarily give you a significant improvement in braking performance. For example, if you have to slam on your brakes, it might not make the car stop significantly faster, but your rotors are primarily a big heat sink. So if you're going to do a lot of back-to-back -back braking, like maybe you're doing runs with friends and you guys will be doing stops from 140 or 150 plus over and over, Maybe you like to run on back rows where you're breaking turn after turn after turn or, you know, just doing like a track day and things like that. You definitely want to have the biggest rotors possible because that will prevent you from dealing with brake fade. All of that heat will go into your calipers and as you're driving and they're spinning through the air, they're constantly being cooled down. So having good properly vented rotors will make sure that you have the best reliability and consistency from your brakes when you're doing heavy back-to-back -back braking. Now they do sell a lot of different options like slotted and drilled. Most times, most people just recommend sticking with blanks if they're available because that gives you the most actual surface area for your pads. Slotted rotors are also nice because it just cleans the pads every time you hit the brakes and always make sure that you have a clean surface pressing against it. But again, it doesn't necessarily give you a significant improvement in performance. So unless you're really tracking your car, it's not necessarily needed, but it does look good and doesn't really have any downsides. Now, the one that you do wanna pay attention to are drilled rotors. And depending on the way that these are manufactured, they can get stress cracks when pushed really, really hard. So sometimes you'll see performance cars come with the drilled rotors because it has improved cooling, but it is something that you just need to pay attention to because they might need to be replaced more often. 
All right, so now we'll talk about the actual different options that came on our cars so that you know which rotors and pads to buy. So we have two different options for front brakes. The first one is a 340 millimeter setup, and these are the brakes that come on the M140, M240, as well as the base gray brakes on the 340 and 440. And this causes a lot of confusion because the M140 and 240 have blue calipers, so people think that they are an upgrade or larger than the gray brakes. But they're actually the exact same, but the M140 and 240 just have painted calipers. So if your car came with those brakes, then you're going to want to run the 340 millimeter rotors as a direct replacement. Now the OEM upgrade from that is the 370 millimeter kit. And these come with slightly larger rotors, and you'll see those on the M Sport brakes on a 340 or 440i, and those will also have blue calipers. Or if you got them kind of after you bought the car as an aftermarket upgrade from BMW, you can buy the M Performance brake kit, and those are also 370 millimeter brakes. The only difference is instead of blue, they come in red, orange, or yellow, and you can also get them with slotted and dimpled rotors. Now, if it's not already clear, basically what I'm trying to say is just looking at the color of the brakes doesn't necessarily mean that you know what size brakes you have. If you've had the car since new, then you have a better opportunity to know, but especially if you bought the car used, sometimes people just paint the brakes different colors, and so it doesn't necessarily tell you if you have the 340 or 370 millimeter kit. The real way to 100% guarantee that you know what brakes you have on your car is to take the wheels off and look at the back of the caliper and there will be a number stamped on it. So if it says 340, then you know you have the 340 millimeter brakes. If it says 370, 380, then you know you have the 370 millimeter brakes. And the only real difference between these two are the calipers themselves. Again, they are the same four piston Brembos. They fit the same brake pads. So if you find performance options for M Sport brakes, you can warm them on the base gray brakes as well. But the difference is that there are the mounting tabs on the calipers and they are a little bit longer on the cars that come with 370 millimeter brakes. So it just kind of spaces the brakes out a little bit more so that you can fit a larger rotor underneath. Now you might be looking at the caliper and say, well, if it says 370, 380, why can't I run the 380 millimeter rotors? And those rotors are the ones that come on the M3 and M4. And the difference there is that BMW actually extended the mounting point on the hub to space out the calipers even more. So they run the same calipers, but they're able to run a larger rotor because it's pushed out a little bit. And again, I do sell upgraded brackets that you can run with the 340 calipers or the 370 calipers and space it out appropriately to fit the larger M3 and M4 380 millimeter rotors. So I know that's a lot of information. Again, if you're curious about what kit you need for your car, just send me an email and I can help get you situated. Now in the rear, it's a little bit different. So we do have two pretty significantly different options that are easy to tell just by looking at it. The first one is like what I have on my car since I have the base brakes. They have single piston floating calipers with a 330 millimeter rotor. So obviously you can tell this one right away because it's not a Brembo caliper at all. And unfortunately these brakes really don't have a lot of upgrades. I know a lot of people are looking for different pads and rotors to run and they just don't seem to be available or they are very scarce. And ultimately the front of your car does 90% of the braking because all of the weight transfers forward on your front wheels and front brakes. So unless you have like a whole bunch of downforce in the rear, it's not really as important to upgrade your rear brakes as well. So you can definitely just run OEM rotors and brake pads and that will get you by fine. But if you do want to upgrade, then you can upgrade to the 345 millimeter M Sport brakes. And these are the ones with blue Brembo calipers in the back. They are two pistons and they have a 345 millimeter rotor. So it's a little bit larger, much better calipers, and much more aftermarket brake options. These are the ones where you'll actually be able to find some upgrades that will give you a little bit better performance. And finally, again, I do sell an upgrade package that will allow you to run 370 millimeter rotors in the rear. So those are the OEM rotors from the M3 and M4, and it's just a bracket that kind of spaces out and rotates the caliper so that you can fit the larger rotors. Keep in mind the rears do need a little bit more work than the fronts where you can basically just do it with hand tools. In the rear it does require removing some material from the caliper and the actual hub. So it's a more significant process and not as popular of an upgrade. But if that's something that you're interested in, reach out and I can set you up. 
Now, just to kind of close this out with a couple final thoughts. First of all, if you were paying attention, you'll notice that the M140 and 240 actually come from the factory with bigger rear brakes than front brakes. So they have the 340 millimeter fronts and the 345 millimeter rears. So that's really awkward. You know, I'm not sure why BMW did that other than, you know, cost cutting just to use the same parts on different cars, but just kind of, you know, an interesting fact. The other thing as far as wheel fitment, I know a lot of you all wheel drive guys like to run 17s all around so that you can get a nice meaty tire and you're going to need to stick with the 340 millimeter front brakes if you want to run 17s. As soon as you upgrade from those to the 370s or 380s, you're going to at least need an 18 inch wheel. And I do have the 18 inch wheels on my car. You can see what that looks like with the M3 rotors underneath. So even if you do upgrade to that, you can run 18s. Now in the rear, it's not as big of a deal. The 330 and the 345 millimeter kits both fit 17 inch wheels. So you have a lot more options back there. But if you upgrade to the M3 brakes, then you're going to need to upgrade to an 18 as well. So I think that covers everything. Hopefully this answers all your questions about the different brake setups and what kind of upgrades you should run on your car. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.